guys, in this lesson, we're going to talk about adding products to your shop. Let's get started. Once you have set up your Facebook shop, you need to start adding products to your digital storefront. All the products that you will add can help attract potential buyers to your store. There are three ways to add products to your shop. Add manually, use bulk upload, and use a pixel. Choose to add manually if your shop has a small inventory that rarely changes. Your products might be less than 50 items and you have no e-commerce website to link to your shop yet. This benefits Facebook shops that are starting to venture the e-commerce selling on the platform alone. Bulk upload is recommended for a large inventory that changes regularly. You can choose three upload options, such as uploading a spreadsheet from your computer, scheduled feed if you have a website with your product inventory, and use Google Sheets when you update your inventory using Google Spreadsheets. Use a pixel is recommended for a large inventory that changes hourly or daily. You need to create a Facebook pixel to run dynamic ads. For now, let's choose to upload products manually. First, add images. You can use a white backdrop to make your product stand out and make sure to avoid watermarks, call to action or promo codes as tags on your photos. For adding products on your Facebook shop, the recommended size for images is at least 500 by 500 pixels and the file format is in JPEG, GIF, or PNG format. It is recommended to add at least one image per product to your shop. But if you want your shop to attract more customers, it would be best to add multiple photos of your product. Enable the advanced option to add more images. Your potential buyers will appreciate it if your product shows more photos. You can add up to four more additional photos of your product. Your potential buyers are browsing your products online and they need to view different angles of the product that you are selling. It helps your viewers appreciate your product. They are more likely to decide on purchasing products when they can see more angles of the product. When adding products, you have to show the actual image of the product and it should match the title and the description of the product. Next, add a title of your product. Write a title that best describes the product that you are selling. It is recommended to use more than 65 characters in your title, but no more than 150 characters long. For example, a laptop must include the brand, the model, and you may include the specifications in your title. In this example, they included the condition of the product, the gender preference, the material used, and what the product can be used for. Next, add a description. Prepare the details of your products. You must include the unique features of your product to help your customers understand the benefits that they can get from purchasing your products. In this example, all the benefits are shown here. If you are selling clothes, you can indicate the materials used, the fabric content, and the colors available. You can prepare the description in your Word document and add bullet points to make it easier to read. Next, you can add a website link where people can view more details about the product, but this is optional. Next, indicate the price of the product. Choose your currency and add the price of the item that matches the price shown on your website. You may also click on this checkbox that this item is on sale. Input the discounted price to entice your viewers that they must purchase the product while it's on sale. It shows your buyers how much they can save. Next, add a condition of the product if it's new, refurbished, or used fair, good, or like new. Be honest with the condition of the product. Your customers will no longer trust your brand if what you indicate as the condition of the product doesn't match the exact condition when they receive it. Next, input the brand. This is optional. For this product, we can input the brand of the laptop here. Content ID is a unique identifier and can be used for Facebook ads. Lastly, add a category of the product. You can browse the category shown here or use a text box to search for a category. Next, the display options will show the visibility and availability options. By default, these are enabled. Next, the category details are applicable for this product. The fields that you will see here will depend on the category of the product that you have chosen. It might be different from other categories for different products. For example, a cookware category might show the dimensions of the product, the decor style, color, the materials used, and pattern of the product. Next, create variants. Use the variations such as different sizes, colors, or patterns if your product has these variants. If it doesn't apply to your product, you can skip this step. Now click Finish. Now you can see that the item is added to our inventory. Now that you know about adding products to your shop, we can now proceed to the next topic, running special offers. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go to technicforce.com for more tools and training.